Okay, let's uh, talk a little bit about uh, the zoom tool. You could zoom in, and you see how the sound waves are. And you can also use here, zoom in, zoom out, <coughs> uh, to get a closer look at uh, problem areas and so on and so forth. Uh, this tool here is, okay, let's say we're off a little bit, like from the first track, and, and my vocal track was a little bit off. We can, you know, put that somewhere where it fits in better, or if it's, you know, out of timing or whatnot. Um, of course, we have the envelope tool, you know, if you want to uh, shrink the audio file down a little bit or not. If you ever get, you know, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Control Z, you could push or go up to edit and undo. Undo time, shift, undo envelope. So, there's a lot of interesting features on Audacity. All you have to do, what I did is I played with them. I played with them, I played with them until I figured out what they were. Uh, I'll show you one more thing uh, before, you know, you just want to go off on this thing and, and start toying with it and playing with it. I know you do, but uh, here's the vocal track. Let's say I wanted an echo in there or something. You go up to F, click effect, click echo. Now, you could pre to preview it, I'll show you how you preview. You select a little piece, okay? Oh, I'm wondering how that would sound. Go to Effect, and let's go back to the Echo. Let's preview it. Okay. And then you decide if you want it or not. No, I don't want that. Uh, another thing, here's a bass boost for my guitar. Yeah. We'll preview that. Okay. Compared to not having it. Not much of a difference, but uh, there's adjustments on there that you can make. And you fool around. Now, <clears throat> this doesn't sound as good. I notice it doesn't sound as good, uh, you know, looking at it through the movie. But you're hearing a recording of a recording of a recording of it. So if you could just keep that in mind. When you're working with Audacity, you know, you're going to have that pure signal right from your guitar or right from your recorder right into the computer. And what I'm hearing is, you know, good. It's not what you're hearing. So... But anyway, just have a lot of fun. Keep playing with it, messing around. Uh, we went over all the uh, buttons and what they work for and what they do. And there's a lot of things that you're going to find out about it if you just sit there and you play with it, keep recording. Like I said, watch your levels, uh, your input, and your output. And watch these little lines up here as far as monitoring goes. But... I hope this helped you on Audacity and how to make the songs. Uh, one of the th other things that you could do is bring in a drum track, an MP3 drum track from right off the internet. Um, put it on this uh, from important files. You go file. Uh, okay, import audio, project, import audio. And then you can find a, you know, a, a drum track maybe that you made in Fruit Loops or uh, some other internet program. You can bring them right into here, and it'll light up this whole section here. In fact, I'll just sh show you one little drum track that I brought. Okay, desktop that I made. Mm -hmm. My drums. See how it's importing the MP3 file? And if we scroll down here, here's my drum track that I made before. Now, I'll have to uh, do a little bit of editing on it, but, uh, you know, that's how <clears throat> I went. I did my drums in another program, imported into Audacity. Now I'm ready to record the bass guitar, the guitar, the lead vocal tracks. So, but I hope this helped you that, you know, you'll be able to uh, do these things yourself. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at Metaphor Music. Uh, just click on Contact Us or, uh, you know, if you want to learn how to play the guitar too, I also got Guitar Method up there. But you can contact me via that page as well. All right. Well, hey, I had a good time uh, showing you uh, what was going, what's going on here with Audacity and all the good folks there. Uh, this is Max over and out. Have a good one.